All right, hello everybody. So here we have an unboxing of one of the new Lotharic incognito boards which just arrived today to be installed in the machine that I previously featured in the first and second installation videos. So I thought I'll give you a little look and just uh, briefly touch on a couple of the minor issues uh, which came up after the uh, new board started to arrive uh, with the owners. So let's pop the box open. Obviously it's been opened before. I'm not going to try and kid you up that it hasn't. Uh, here we have the contents. Uh, we have a Transcend card in here. I don't know if that was supplied with the board or not. Uh, certainly helps to keep the uh, compact flash pin straight. Um, so we've also, I'll just put that to one side for a minute, we've also got the cable, uh, ribbon cable, uh, that connects to P4. And in the bottom of the box we have the wiring, which goes to the P5 header. So we'll just pop the box to one side. <coughs> so you can see this is, uh, so that's the pin one and the black wire end is pin one. You can see that this uh, wiring scheme, uh, unbeknownst to me, it doesn't use the same colouring as the cables featured in the video. Uh, that shouldn't really be a problem because the video tells you not only the pin numbers, but the signal names as well. So if you go by pin numbers, you can't go wrong, hopefully. And moreover, I pinned a comment under the first video, which explains the mapping, how to map the original coloring used in the video onto the new wire with pin numbers and colors. Uh, bearing in mind, pin one is black. It's got the little notch. Now this isn't particularly the kind of connector I would expect to be provided. Um, it'll work fine. But um, when we attach the connector, uh, let's fit it, uh, we've got an instant problem here. And the instant problem being that if you want to plug something into the P6 connector, which is directly above it. Can you see the uh, problem that we have here is that it won't fit because normally you would use what they call a DuPont connector housing here. Um, so those of you who want to do the second part of the modification with the button and the ATR, uh, the ATR button and the hard disk activity LED will need to fabricate your own cable because this this connector ain't going to work if you want to also fit a three pin connector on here. So there's your first problem. Second difference, well if you look at the other board, here's an original board. Uh, it's actually had the PLCC connector replace this board, but uh, no matter, it's, uh, that was the only change. You can see there's a difference here, there's the GTAG connector isn't on the new board. Uh, probably won't be a problem, but uh, if uh, another CPLD update comes out at any point in the future, you won't be able to plug your uh, Zelinx programming cable into it without putting the header on. Other than that, looks pretty much the same. The silk screen's been changed, it's a different colour. Here is a, what they call a DuPont connector. There we go. And as you can see, it's marked pin one. And if we were to have our wiring in there, there's plenty of room to put the three way connector on the front as well. The other problem a couple of people reported is that this cable, the two, the, I think it's the ready and uh, halt signals on pins one and six, won't actually reach the CPU board. Depending on the board revision, some of, the, some of them have the antic a little bit nearer to the center of the board. A couple of people reported that the wires won't reach. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do about that. You'll have to navigate that issue on your own, I'm afraid. I mean, you could actually use the same wires. You could chop the ends off uh, and crimp um, DuPont connectors on to the ends of the wires if you wanted to. 
Entirely up to you. Right, so let's imagine that this is our our hard disk LED thing here. Obviously, it's completely the wrong connector, but you can see it's actually attached. So you can see it's actually attached to the P6 header there. Now, if we take this cable and plug it in here, ah, right. I'm not going to push it in all the way because it's going to bend the other pins. You could, honestly, uh, yeah, right, okay. So, yeah, so just wanted to make those little observations. Uh, hopefully not they're regarded as too contentious. Uh, as I say, if you're not interested in the light and you're not interested in the button, you can ignore all of that and just use the provided connector. Um, and take care to get the pin out right because the colours are different. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say at the moment. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was a useful clarification. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye-bye for now.